Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's go through AI parse document function uh, in Databricks. If you are completely new to the playlist, this is the video number 18 in the Databricks free edition series. If you want to know more about Databricks, also I have this 30 days of Databricks series. Please refer to that. I will show you how it is done in two different ways. One in the SQL editor and one in the notebook itself. Let's get directly into today's topic. I will first walk you through what AI parse document is all about. And we will just go through the examples so you can use this in the Databricks free edition. Here, as you can see, this is a function and it applies to the Databricks SQL and the Databricks uh, runtime. This is in public preview. As it mentions here really well, the Databricks AI parse document function is state of the art generative AI model from this Databricks foundational model APIs. I'll provide the link in the description. You can go through more links to extract structure content from the structure documents. That means we need to upload the documents in the volumes where we can get the structured content out of the unstructured documents. I will show you the example of PDF, how we can do that in this video. There are some requirements in different regions, but I think this is also good here that the serverless environment must be set to three or above. This enables features like variant, stored in a variant. I will show you what that means from the document itself. There are some data security stops and supported input file formats. You can see these are the ones that is supported as of recording of this video. And yeah, there are some syntax arguments. What are the different arguments that goes inside it? And here is the returns. The AI pass document function extracts the contextual layout metadata, right? Yeah, these are the things it is mentioned as I mentioned you because this kind of documents keep updated and this is last updated on November 11, 2025 and I'm recording this November 17, which recent update, right? Now let's go directly into the UI. This is the Databricks free edition. Now I will show you first from the AI parse document which you can do with SQL and Python or different languages. Here you can see I have this volume as a read file. If you want to have only structured data, it needs to go to volume, right? From where I get this, I can open this catalog in the new tab here. I will go here. And here you can see this is the place where I can of course upload from different ways, but you can just go to this plus. Here you can see upload to volume. Click this one. And you can choose the catalogs already here. For me, it was inside data science basics inside YouTube. Here is the file GPT for all. You can just click browse. Then you can see here max size is 10 GB per, per file. You can have uploaded up to 100 files. Just upload here and provide the path in the SQL editor. It's here, right? Yeah, that's it. And the binary file format. When you run this, this will be the document you can see that is being extracted from there and it takes around 40 seconds by running this ai parse document that's it select ai parse document content this version as i showed you in the documentation and you can see this is the column parsed and it extracts the information from here i can even run this so i can come back later just to show you that's it it will first needs a compute once that is done, as you can see, it's waiting and that will be done. This is from the SQL editor. Now I will show you from the notebook also because you will not be always running from the SQL editor, right? It's running here. I have this documentation also here, this AI parse document. And this is the type variant. Variant type is also in the public preview. So it represents semi-structure data, right? Here you can see. The file supports storing any semi-structured data, including struct, array, map, and scalar types. Variant can only store map types of string. I'll provide you the link also, but just for you to get understanding that it stores in the variant. Now I'll go back here. The AI parse document in the SQL editor is now already done. So it took around 38 seconds this time. You can see this is there. Same thing. It extracts the information. So similarly here, if you want to know more about this AI parse document, you can just run this AI parse document with the two question marks. AI parse document not found. Let me first 
import this i will go i will change this to python i will first run this one import and then ai parse document you might be thinking where did the ai parse document come in the python right you need to first import the function uh -huh. or whatever you want to do and then run this you can see here this is the function right ai parse document you can just read here parses a column containing binary data and returns a class variant type so you can go through the different parameters it takes and so on right and now if i go down here this is the same thing which i did in the actual but here now you can see this is the spark dot read dot format binary file it loads from the same location as you can see here with columns parsed and this is the function and it displays the df that's it it's just doing the same thing now in python you can do two different things but now the thing is yes you extract the informations what is the use case right now what we can do i took the example from the databricks documentation but now you can extract the information and you can use another llm to have let's say rag kind of thing you can ask the question from that particular document now this is running it will be just the same thing but it will show you in the df i will just run this also so that it shows us this is already df here so i don't even need to run this but i can interrupt this this will be running here but when that is running i will just show you this one sql function right here you can see this is the past this means that it will extract the information in the variant right but now after that we can use the ai query uh, functions i have created a video related to ai functions video number 16 exploring the ai functions you can see i am using the ai um, parse the document meaning the on structure and we have the structure output from that and then we are using ai query on top of that we are using the um, llm which is solving in point of databricks you can open this in a new tab and you will see here are different llms which we can already use you can just take one of these from here and pass it here here is the question i am asking extract all the author's name so what it is doing it is using the ai parse document to parse the pdf and then we are using this ai query with this particular llm we are getting the answer out of it i can run this again once you have this if you want to view inside here i have also done this thing like i just want to view just the 100 characters and so on this is how you can view i have already done this before and you can see it extracts some information i will provide this in the github and the link will be in the github for the code feel free to play around with this here is the thing going on the first step will be done i'm just showing you all and it is doing the same thing again and again but i could have done this and then uh, once passed and use the same uh, document to do this ai uh, ai query but you get the point here you can see this parse documents it's doing all sorts of thing and now if i go down you can see this is the path from where it is looking into the documents this is in the volumes and you can see gpt for all this is the pdf and this is the text as we are mentioning here here you can see this is the text that is the parse content of that document and we are saying get the answer this one and the answer will be here if i scroll a little bit the structure data right as you can see here we want the answer to be in the structure data if i expand this you can see here are the author names mentioned in the paper i ask the question extract all author names right and it is providing us the answer from there so you can see we have the data in the volume we extract the informations and from that extracted information we are asking the questions and we are getting the answer that simple just give a try i think this is a new feature just recently introduced in databricks and when i will be showing you in the future videos the agent bricks is not in the free edition but i will create videos outside of free edition this agent bricks 
and that is also using this AI parse document to parse the informations into the other pipelines so that you know how easy it is now and under the hood it is using some LLM to extract the information. So yeah, just give a try. I just want to create this video because this is new things happening in Databricks and I hope uh, you can use this kind of things already in the Databricks free. That's all for this video. As I mentioned, I will update the code in my GitHub and I will provide you the link in the description. Just go there and try it yourself. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.